Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for January 17, Tuesday. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony, Abbot of our Church. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against the godless nations from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you on the harp of my God. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord send forth your light and your truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the little time of life, I must depart. To the days of the neither world, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more. In the land of the living, no longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded by my life like a weaver who served the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry, I cry out until the dawn, like a lion he breaks all my bones, day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries, I moan like a dove, my eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward, O oh Lord, I am in strait, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back 
all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you, neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living you give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers, declare to the sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing strings instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you, all flesh will come with its burden of sins. Too heavy for us are our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you chose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders, the lands of sunrise and sunset. You fill with joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brings over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. To trans its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pasture of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flax. The valley are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in science. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Good morning. In today's reading from the Apostle Paul to the Romans, he tells us to be transformed, to renew our minds so that we may judge what is God's will and what is good, pleasing, and perfect. And how do we renew our minds, our conscience? We know that we are uh, creatures, product of society, we are influenced by the things around us. They say that we are the average of the five people closest to us. So you might want to do some inventory. Are the five people closest to you trying to live a good life? Are they trying to do God's holy will? Is that their purpose? The other thing is our conscience can be formed and renewed by reading scripture. If we read our scripture and spend time 
reflecting on God's word, our mind will be renewed. You'll find that sometimes the things that you think are right or the things you believe are contrary to what you read in the, in the scriptures. This is one way to move into a, a positive direction so that your, your mind is renewed so that you can do God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. Today we also celebrate the Feast of St. Anthony. He was very much like St. Francis in that he gave and sold everything that he had, gave it to the poor and, and lived a life of poverty. And so it's a good example of someone who read the scripture, heard what Jesus said to the rich man and followed that example. He sold everything because he wanted to separate himself from this world and prepare himself for the afterlife. So we too um, should read our scriptures so that it can move us in a, in a direction that will be pleasing to God. So we pray to St. Anthony and thank him for that example that he gave us. St. Anthony, pray for us. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. He will never lose his way. The law of God is his guide. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. The Lord is my inheritance. He is good to those who seek him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my inheritance. He is good to those who seek Him. My brothers, let us praise Christ, asking to serve Him and to be holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. Let us acclaim Him. Lord, you alone are the Holy One. You desire to experience everything we experience but sin. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. You call us to love perfectly. Make us holy, Lord Jesus. You commission us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine on us, Lord Jesus. You desire to serve, not to be served. Help us, Lord Jesus, to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You are in the form of God, sharing in the splendor of the Father. Lord Jesus, let us see the glory of your face. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, you, you alone, alone are, are the, the Holy, Holy one. one. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who brought the abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, Grant through his intercession that denying ourselves we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.